This is Noah. Noah is in the Hall of Fame because he listened to God. Hello, Hero Factory, and welcome to another edition of Kids Church. It is so good to have you with us today. So, we are now officially starting week three of Noah and the Big Boat. So, before we get into today, let's have a little recap. So on the first week, we learned all about Noah and how he trusted and he obeyed God and he followed what he said and he made himself a giant ark. It took a hundred years to make this massive boat. It was huge, completely huge. It was so, so, so big. And then last week, Faye came and she spoke to us about how um, it rained and it rained and it rained, um, but how God was powerful and how God is powerful and how God helped Noah and his family in that situation, how God is so powerful. He can help us in our situation that we are in. And today we're gonna move on and we're gonna find out what happened next. So he's built the boat, he's got the animals, he's got his family, he's got into the boat, and then it rains for 40 days and 40 nights without stopping. Let's find out what happened next. After seven days, it started to rain. The underground waters erupted from the earth and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights and then stopped. Many days later, Noah sent out a dove to find dry land, but the dove came back. After seven days, Noah sent out the dove again, and it returned with a branch. After seven more days, Noah released the dove again. This time, it did not return. This made Noah think the dove found dry land where it could rest. Noah lifted the covering of the boat and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. Noah trusted in God's plan and God protected his family during the flood. So they're in the boat. They are surrounded by water. They can only see water as far as their eye can see. There is no land. So what Noah did is, is he set a bird free and he was hoping that if, if there was land around, this bird would probably come back with a branch or, or with a twig or something. But it came back with nothing. So there clearly was no land around. But Noah kept hoping and kept believing that the water would eventually dry up and land would appear. So he sent the bird out again. And of course, the bird came back with a stick, which meant that there was land starting to appear. And then the third time he sent the bird out, the bird never came back which shows that the bird had found a tree and somewhere else to live and somewhere else to be. Throughout all of those different things, Noah had hope. He trusted and he obeyed God and he knew that God was powerful, but he also put his hope in God. Now, hope again is one of those funny words that we've probably heard of, but do we really know what hope means? What is hope? Now, hope is this. Hope is believing that the things you want to happen will come true. Now, we put our hope in lots of different things. And you've probably heard people say, oh, I really, really, really hope I get a Barbie dream house for Christmas. Or I really, really, really hope I get a Nintendo Switch for my birthday. And we hope. And what hope is, is, is that we, we put our hope that we're going to get something that we want. Now, we can also put our hope in lots of other things. And, you know, when I was younger, my dad was really poorly. He had a really, really sore heart and his heart wasn't doing what it meant to do. So he had to have a heart transplant. And what that meant is, is he needed a new heart, which is just crazy, isn't it? And you know, every single day he had to spend so much time in hospital or having different medicines or being looked after by doctors. And I just used to hope all the time that my dad would get better. I constantly was hoping and praying and asking God and just putting my hope in God that he would make my dad better. Hope is when what we're believing for, that that thing will happen. And you know what's so amazing is that sometimes we can get ourselves a little bit sad or upset that things might not happen. But with God, there is always hope. 
And Noah held on to that hope. And he believed that God would come through and that things would go back to how they were and that the water would go away and land would appear. He put his hope in God, just like I put my hope in God and believed that he would make my dad better again. In Isaiah 40, verse 31, it says this, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. You know, when we hope in God, and hope that God will help us, put our hope in him of who he is and how great he is. It will renew our strength and it will keep us going. Noah put his hope in God. He didn't put his hope in anybody else. I put my hope in God and hoped that my dad would get better. I didn't put hope in anybody else. And you know, we use the word hope a lot. But when we put our hope in God and believe that God will do what he says he's going to do, when we pray and we put our hope in God that he will heal us or make us better, God will be with us and he'll help us and he'll keep us strong.